Hello, today we are dealing with a RE4 R01A transmission. It's automatic, electrically controlled, 4x4 transmission. This comes in a two-wheel drive model as in MPVs, Nissans, Infinities, and a few other transmissions. We're dealing with a no shift, hard shift in between second and third, which means we have a solenoid problem. This transmission is not slipping. So what is going on here? is we have to pull the valve body off and get to the solenoids on the other side of this valve body. I can test the connections here, but we're gonna get a false connection because everybody else on the line thinks that there's a spring inside of these three solenoids. There's only two solenoids here that have a spring in it. So you'll hear them cycling. The other three will not cycle. They will only stick. So, what we're going to do, come over here, I have one of these solenoids torn apart, so we can actually get... So I have one of these solenoids torn apart here. So we're just going to open this up real quick and show you what's inside of here. I All I did is I opened up the lip. I used a special pair of little pliers that work great for doing this. They have a little hook on them. It's a blue point pair of pliers. And they work real good for doing this. You can just walk around, take two laps, rolling this open, and then you can fold it back. The only thing that's gonna stop these things from working or not being cleanable is uh, having no continuity in the coil. So we pull off, we unwrap this. You can see the ledge right there. We pull off the washer. And then I can use this in here to pull out the piston and you see how that just drops down there's no spring inside of this hole so without a spring you will not get this thing to cycle okay. what over here okay so what we're going to see here is this piston is just going to go one direction and it's not going to go back see how that went and it's not going to go back. We're going to go to these other ones, but they're not going to cycle. We're not going to hear them go back and forth. They're just going to move once. They're not like these solenoids. There's two solenoids in this transmission that will cycle. Now, what happens is they get dirty. See how the piston pop back out? And so you actually have to give them a tap to get the, the piston. So that one didn't fall out. So what you need to do is just make sure these things are clean. As long as you get spark from your connection, I don't know if you can see that. I got a little bit of spark, or you check continuity with an ohm meter. As long as you have that, all you have to do is clean these things. You, if they're not cycling correctly, you may have to pull them apart and clean them, but all you have to do is clean these. Thank you. And so to test these things from the outside of the transmission, we're gonna look at our wire and color coding for each one of these. So what we have is we have a gray, green, yellow, and red coming out of the solenoids. So our uh, gray, green, and yellow will not give you a click. They'll give you one click and that's it until the hydraulic pressure push to the solenoid back out or the valve back out and so then our red and blue here go to the other solenoid so from the plug we should be able to test continuity in between these three solenoids which is gray green and yellow to ground so gray green and yellow right there we should be able to test and then from red and blue at this right there, we should hear them cycle. So that's where you can test it on the outside of the transmission. And then so we have white and black. We should see white and black. That's our temperature sender. That actually is going to variate resistance as the tranny warms up. And then there is one more that is this orange wire is just a temperature switch. 
if it gets too hot, this is your AT temp switch right here. So that should be either open or closed, but you'll notice right away if you have an AT temp light on if that's being an issue. Okay, have a good day.